I, I, I need to dis define my working space first. So that means that I need to be medial to that. That's what, otherwise, I'm not going to be on the, at the, on the scapula and no chance of being on the subscapularis. I'm going to use my flat knuckles to define my inner or medial limit, which is this rib cage. All right, so without poking, using the flat and the knuckles, I'm going to touch the scapula and then just gently walk my way in and butt against the rib cage. And the rib cage has a curvature, so I can actually kind of follow a curvature. Like this way. All right, so then you have an idea how much I actually have to work with in terms of the anterior surface of the scapula. Okay? Now, what's also in this area is the latissimus dorsi muscle. I should palpate that a little bit to kind of figure out how much, where they are, where it is, so I can avoid it. Not interesting is the latissimus dorsi muscle. The latissimus dorsi is part of the two muscles that make up the, the armpit. Right, so the front part is the pecs, the back is the latissimus dorsi. I need to figure out what's the, the back end of the armpit. I want to avoid that. So once again, I define my lower limit. That's the, the inferior angle. That's the lowest part of my y-axis. I find the lateral aspect of the scapula. I walk in with the blunt of my knuckles, and I can feel where the maximum I can go into. Then I'm going to depress the tissue. And what I'm doing is that I'm, my, my fingertips, my fingertips is going to land on the front of the scapula. So what that means is I'm also landing on the subscapularis. Okay, I'm touching the subscapularis now. Don't be afraid to go in as much as possible. 